Seeing as how we live in the future, I have decided to do the show from home today. I'm using Sun's new Project Wonderland toolkit to host this whole thing in my pajamas. That's pretty impressive, right? It's probably the most fun I've ever had working. But how does something like this come together? Who makes it happen? I decided to head to Burlington, Massachusetts to Sun Microsystems and talk to project lead Nicole Yankelovich about the future of remote working. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Let's talk about how to keep me from ever going to work again. All right. I'm Nicole Yankelovich, and I work at Sun Microsystems in the labs and the research organization, and I run um, the Project Wonderland team. Project Wonderland is a toolkit for building 3D virtual worlds, and uh, we're big, part of a bigger collaboration program uh, called Collaborative Environments trying to develop tools for, to help people work better remotely. Let me see if I'm wrapping my head around it. I walk into a room in Wonderland. I'm a little virtual avatar version of me. And if I want to share a slide presentation with somebody, the slide presentation is up there. And we're both working on it together. As far as the, the fine range of motion of the avatar and stuff, do people need to do that to, to really get the full experience? Or can they just sort of walk around and, and do the minimum? Does it work as well? It does work as well. One of the things that we're working on is to make the avatars more expressive. For example, using the webcam that's on your laptop, we want to be able to get the head gesture and facial expressions automatically so that people don't have to do it. What, what is the name of the audio technology? Oh, we're based on um, open source technology that our group has also done called J Voice Bridge. It's high fidelity audio and we've done some studies that show that it really, the higher the fidelity audio, the more you can understand accented speech, the more you can differentiate people's voices. And what kind of background did you have in this sort of thing before you started building Wonderland? I've been working in with collaboration software for a very long time. So I come at it, as I said, not from a gamer perspective, but from a person who uh, has a lot of experience building tools for collaboration. I think of myself as the, you know, the user advocate and uh, interaction designer. And if somebody wanted to get into your line of work, what kind of, what kind of advice would you give them? Well, you know, when I started, there were no um, academic programs in HCI or human computer interaction. Uh, that's probably what I would have done. I would have gone to a graduate program in that area had there been one. The best advice I could give to people is volunteer. Step up to the plate, particularly take on a challenge where you see a need. So, you know, I look around the company and I, I really saw a need for people struggling with distributed meetings. And let's talk a little bit about working at Sun. Is this take on responsibility, run with the projects that interest you thing, is that is that a big part of Sun's philosophy as a company? To some extent, yep. Uh, particularly, I'm in the research part of the organization, which runs a little bit more like an academic department. It's really up to us to come up with what projects we're going to work on. What would you say your favorite part of your job is? I love seeing the software come to life. It's like when everything comes together and it's the first test where, you know, some new thing works. To me, there's just, that's such a thrill. Do you have varied skills and interests? Human-computer interaction combines multiple disciplines like computer science, design, engineering, and psychology into one role. And with such a varied skill set required to create a 3D collaborative environment, you might already be qualified. But if not, don't worry. Like Nicole said, plenty of universities offer courses in HCI. You might want to start with a class in computer programming or UI design to broaden your background. And don't forget, our sponsor Dice.com has hundreds of positions open in 3D imaging, UI, and human factors. And if you need a little career track change advice, you can get it at Dice.com from the pros and your colleagues in the field. And if you need a little help with your resume, Dice has got you covered there too. They have over 40 samples for you to download, including one for a UI designer. Check them out. They're your first steps to finding your best job ever.